What's up guys, Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today we're back with part 11 of the Piano Tips for Beatmaker series. Today I want to talk about an extra tool that you can throw in the mix, other than just doing the exercises, technique, and scale exercises that we've talked about before. Kind of a way that you can still practice some of these same finger exercises, even when you're not at a keyboard or piano. Early on, it's very likely that your fingers will be very weak, especially when you start trying to play certain notes with, say, your ring finger or pinky finger. And that's where something like this is going to help supplement your regular piano exercises. So what this is, is a grip master. I know this company's still around and they still make these type of things. And there's other companies and other similar devices out there that you can find. And you can get these as a set or you can probably buy them individually as well. What this is, is these have springs. Um, that have a certain level of tension. And then you probably see on here, this is actually a medium tension. This can work overall to help general grip strength. It's gonna help work your forearms. Specifically with one like this, it has actually breaks for each of your individual fingers. Some of them just have a solid bar. So you get the maximum benefit for your piano exercise. You wanna have something that you can use with your individual fingers, but you can basically kind of work some of these same exercises where you're working your fingers individually. And as you can see right now, I'm kind of struggling. As this is a medium strength tension. I would say, especially starting out, even for me now, this is kind of difficult for me to work with my more weak fingers. So you may want to look at something kind of with a like light tension. I think the lighter color ones, maybe the yellow, whatever, or kind of a lighter weight would be a lot easier for you. But they'll still also work your fingers just like you were doing piano exercises. And they'll also provide more resistance than just the weight of the keys would. And so in the early days of my piano playing, when I was not able to be right at a piano all the time, I still was wanting to work on improving my strength and dexterity in my fingers. And so these were very convenient to just kind of carry with me. If I wanted to stop and do like a five, 10 minute exercise, you can kind of follow the same structure that we talked about before where it was recommending about 10 to 12 times per exercise you can kind of get creative with it you can try some different things i think there are even exercises provided when you purchase these these are traditionally used for like athletes and and different people in training and things like that but with your piano playing it's the same thing some of the pieces that you might want to be playing different runs they might not be natural to you and so you may need to build up certain strength be able to play some of the stuff you want to play and so this is just kind of a supplement you can throw in the mix again feel free to search online because i'm sure there's other great companies out there and different devices that you can use and you'll just want to look for something that has the individual fingers like this versus some of them just have a solid bar across the top which is just for grip strength. I'll try to do a quick search online before I upload this video and see if I can find links to a couple of these that you might want to check out. But anyway, this is just the Grip Master. This is a medium strength. Definitely would recommend something with a lower tension, specifically starting out. And that's pretty much it. I was just going through some stuff earlier and found those. Haven't used them in a while, but I know they were very helpful to me early on, and uh, I think they can help you as well. And I'll also make sure to link some of those other finger exercise videos in the description if you missed those in the past. There will also be a link in the description for one-on-one -on -one music production and piano coaching. Other than that, I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.